Hello, hi, it is William Carling from Wooby Vlogs, and Malta has held the Malta Eurovision Song Contest 2022. Emma Muscat has won with her song Out of Sight, Suzanne. Hi y'all, it's Suzanne. It is a chilly super Saturday here in Atlanta, and I am dreaming of the islands, Malta specifically. The question is, will we see Emma in focus? Shall we talk about it? <laughs> Let's, Let's do this. this. All right, I did not react to the Malta Eurovision Song Contest this year because a few snippets I heard, ooh, large. Could have cut that down from 22 to like four. In any case, we are gonna watch her performance from the final, Hitting Ha Le. Hey girl, yes, turn to the camera. Mm, nice eyes in the background. Oh, it's a child. <clears throat> it opens up so beautifully. Nice staging. I love the stars and the fog. Beautiful voice. Oh, she looks like a star. Oh. Wearing her prom dress. A little Emma behind her. How sweet. I love this Liberty ballad. girl, yes! You can't take it away from me. Oh, she is stunning. She is so beautiful. She's stunning. I love it when she looks into the okay. camera and smiles. Is she building to a big chorus? Take me oh, somewhere. It's really sweet to see a grown Emma holding hands with a younger Emma. What a tribute yeah. to oneself, a love song to yourself. I love that bodysuit. <clears throat> wow, she is beautiful. <sighs> that bodysuit that she's wearing is stunning when she steps out from behind um, the piano. The chorus feels empty. Like, I don't know what to grab onto musically. Um, uh, this feels very, very old school, old fashioned, but she is amazing. Woo! Yes, attitude, beauty, poise. Okay, girl, handography. Oh, but the song is just not... The song is not good. Oh, but she has I no love fear. the tassels she has on walk. Her. Look at how she walks. Her full length of bodysuit. Hip, knee, hand, boom. Amazing hair. Amazing shoes, literally on point. Let's get Ah, <sighs> okay. Wow. Oh, yeah, girl. She can sing. Oh, little her. Oh. <clears throat> Grown Emma and little Emma singing together is so cute. Nice cameo, little one. Uh, and it closes with them taking oh, hands. Like, let's keep it real. Children are not allowed on stage at the Eurovision Song Contest. That means the most magical moment of this performance is already D-O-A. You can't bring the kid, so the sort of sweetness will be lost. Let's start by focusing on the positive, and everything positive about this stems from Emma. Emma is, of course, a known singer in Italy. She plays second, I believe, on a big TV show. She lives in Italy. She's built a pop career in Italy. She has a lot going for her. Sadly, Italy is not voting in semi-final two, and based on the song, our girl is gonna need all the help she can get. Sorry, I'm gonna focus on her first. She's beautiful. She has a stunning voice. 
She's got amazing stage presence. The stylist? Give the stylist a raise. The outfit was so sculpted to her body. She looked athletic, fit, strong, empowered. The hair on point, golden, delicious. The makeup on point, just enough for pop, not too much. She didn't do the Kardashian treatment, right? She was keeping, there was a bit of natural Emma. She was stunning is the point. So everything, you know, positive, Beauty, face, voice, talent, charisma, Emma, 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 Emma. The song? Y'all need to write a new song. Y'all need to pull a Malta 2016 chameleon and let the song change to adjust the big to the big stage at Eurovision. Let this chameleon totally change its color with a new melody, new rhythm, new shape, new lyrics, new everything. Because Emma, Emma has the talent and the ability to sail through to the final if she's given the right material. This song, we're just used to this from Alta. Diva-esque ballads, often from another era. I mean, Destiny broke the mold. She gave us something now, something out there, something unpredictable. We're back in the safety zone. All alone in the danger zone, which is the safety zone. I'm not into this. So I think that this is a really relatable song. It um, It's a love song from Emma to herself where she talks to her younger self. Um, I'll know how to behave when the pain comes. She talks about being trapped in the middle of nowhere, being lost, um, winning back her life. At some point, I believe, believe she says she always knew she was born to win. And I think that we all come from a place of self-doubt, not knowing exactly who we are, trying to figure it all out. Um, our youth and our adolescence and our college years, they can just be so difficult because there are so many things going on around us. Society saying one thing, our families are saying another, our own heart may be saying something else. Growing up can be painful, and I, I think that that's what she's talking to in this song, but deep down she always knew who she was. And I love the nude gold bodysuit because it's as though she's saying, this is me in this, this sheer color. And I love, the little girl looks a little bit adult um, in that bodysuit, but I also love that they, they are mirror images of one another. So how do I think this song is going to do in Italy at Eurovision? Um, I don't think it's gonna come in at the very bottom. I'm going to guess probably middle of the road. I believe we will see it the evening of the grand final. Do I think it's going to win? No. Do I think it's going to fare relatively well? I hope so. I do think it will make it to the grand final. I want to read you some comments on the Weebly Blogs website. Johnny says, good singer, boring song, such a pity. Doris says, wow, this year is abysmal. So forgettable and bad news, children are not allowed on the ESC stage. I mean, I guess with the child, they can do a digitally kind of projected child. Maybe they can have a hologram child. There could be a younger Emma in some capacity, but definitely not a real child. F oh, FFS, I know what that stands for, says boring. Craggy Mac, this song is okay, but to me it just feels a bit too vanilla. Emma is great, her voice is strong, but this song does nothing for me. It kind of feels like track 11 on an album. To me, if it came on the radio, I'd probably change the station, and if nothing better was on, I'd come back to it. I think Malta may be the shock non-qualifier this year. Okay, I don't think it's a shock. It would be a shock, because this song is not lighting fires. Um, Malta is in semifinal two, and as we've said repeatedly throughout this Eurovision season, semifinal two is stacked, particularly in the second half, with countries that don't often qualify. So I do think this semifinal is wide open enough that Malta could squeak through. However, they would significantly improve their chances by revamping this. You know, keep the themes. Keep the idea of getting out of this fake world in your head, but then just give us something more modern. The chorus almost feels empty. I said this earlier, I don't know what to latch on to. It's like there's no bass, there's nothing, they've not layered this properly. I just hear this sort of high-pitched treble, yeah, soundscape, and I want something deeper, something more touching, because Emma deserves that. Emma is queen, and a queen deserves a crown and a song to go with it. Nico says, oh dear, what is it with Malta's obsession with diva-esque female solo singers singing serious songs about self-empowerment, both adult and junior Eurovision? It's like 90% of their entries as of late and it's getting quite redundant. You have to go back to 2014 to get something actually different 
And even though I didn't personally care for coming home, at least it was in a different style and it did qualify. 2015 Amber, love her. 2016 Air Alaska, love her. 2017 Claudia, love her. 2018 Christabel, love her. 2019 Michaela, then Destiny. Look, I love all of these singers. However, the songs do kind of repeat a theme, often. Um, mm. But Pietro ends with some positivity. Pietro says, with a good revamp, she's going to slay in Turin. I'm sure Warner Music Italy will not miss this opportunity. Now, I really hope that is what happens. And I hope the people at the Multi Eurovision Song Contest or the delegation allow her to tweak this so much that it ends up being a different song. Because Emma's amazing. Let's, let's not forget this. She is amazing, a queen of the Mediterranean. And I think she can really send waves across the sea if she's given the right material. And on that vanilla point, amen, hallelujah. This is so vanilla, my teeth are falling out, okay? Moneskin, they won with something dirty. Achille Loro in San Marino, he gave us something dirty. He would take your vanilla cake and add some, I don't know, PVC, some sweat, some cologne. A lot of other dirty stuff I'm not going to mention. The, it, he would give it edge. I'm not saying she needs to show up in gothic makeup, you know, you know, ah, all rocked out. But you can give this something, some kind of flavor. Flavor! In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Are you living for Emma Muscat? What do you think about her song? Is out of sight, out of focus when it comes to making the final at Eurovision? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. Don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, share, comment um, on all of our social media platforms. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, the podcast, it's on Apple and Spotify. You can connect with Devin on Pinterest. And let me just say, I do appreciate the sentiment of her song. I do feel the emotion and I feel that she connects with it. And that's why I want her to have a better song so we can connect with it too. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.